Hey there folks, Chris here with the Essential Film Noir Collection Volume 3, released by Via Vision's imprint label. A set of four films which includes The Strange Love of Martha Ivers from 1946, No Man of Her Own from 1950, The Turning Point from 1952, and The Desperate Hours from 1955. So let's start off with The Strange Love of Martha Ivers, starring the Queen of Noir, Barbara Stanwyck, co-starring Van Heflin, Elizabeth Scott, and Kirk Douglas in his on-screen debut. And the film centers around a man who is reunited with his childhood friend and her husband, who believe he knows the truth about the death of her rich aunt years earlier. An absolute classic, very atmospheric, and this was remastered from a 4K scan by Paramount Pictures. And it looks good. The image provides deep black lows, which showcases nice detail at times. Overall, I found sharpness on the moderate side for the most part. It's a bit soft and the grain is hardly noticeable, with specks of dust particles here and there throughout the film, although it wasn't distracting. For the audio, the mono track was decent. The dialogue was clear without any pesky issues to worry about. I'm rating this a 3.5 out of a 5 for the picture and a 4 for the sound. For features, you get a new audio commentary and a feature read by Film Noir Foundation board member Alan K. Rohde, plus Kirk Douglas gives his few cents on the film as well as Domestic Terror, Barbara Stanwyck and the Gothic Noir, which is a video essay by Kat Ellinger, plus a documentary on Stanwyck and a trailer as well. Next up, Barbara Stanwyck is back in No Man of Her Own, co-starring John Lund, and the film focuses on a pregnant woman who adopts the identity of a railroad crash victim and starts a new life with the woman's wealthy in-laws. An interesting film and one of my personal favorites by Miss Stanwyck. Picture quality wise, it's a decent print. Some scenes are sharp and at times it's a bit soft with specks of dust particles on the print throughout the film. Black lows were moderate and the mono track was solid. Although it's not the best I've ever heard for a black and white film, but it served its purpose well. I didn't have any issues here in the dialogue. So overall I'm rating this a three and a half out of a five for the picture and a four for the sound. For bonus content, you get a new audio commentary by film historian Drew Casper, plus writer, broadcaster, and journalist Barry Forshaw gives his thoughts on the film. Also included is a radio drama with Miss Stanwyck. Now for the third film in this set, The Turning Point, starring William Holden, co-starring Edmund O'Brien and Alexis Smith. A film about a tough, no-nonsense reporter who mentors a special prosecutor and routing out corrupt officials in the city. And this was my first time watching this movie, and I found the story well-written with great performances and nice camera work with shots of dark and shadowy streets as noir is best known for. Plus, you can never go wrong with William Holden. And regarding the presentation, I found the picture quality a lot better than the first two films. It was sharper and the image was clean. Hardly any dust particles on the print, and black lows are on the moderate side. Sure, the picture is soft at times, but overall, it's a very decent print, as is the mono track with good clarity with no pops or clicks along the way. I heard the dialogue just fine. And on that note, I'm rating both the picture and audio quality a 4.5 out of a 5. For special features, this includes a new audio commentary with Alan K. Rohde, plus Barry Forshaw is back to discuss this film. And finally, The Desperate Hours, the second to last motion picture from Humphrey Bogart, who passed away a couple years later in 1957. And the film co starred Frederick March, directed by William Wyler, best known for directing the epic Ben-Hur with Charlton Heston. And this film centers around three escaped convicts who move in and terrorize a suburban household. An edge-of-your-seat thriller that's not to be missed. I enjoy this one a lot. And the presentation was excellent. The picture is very sharp with the grain intact, but it's minimal. It showcases plenty of detail, and black lows are deep, with hardly any dust particles on the print. Considering the age of this film, I'm impressed how great this print looks. I wish all classic films looked as sharp as this. For the audio, the mono track complemented the film well for this dialogue driven film with great clarity. There were a couple of scenes where I had to bring up the volume a bit to hear what Bogey had to say, but other than that, it's a solid track. So I'm rating this a 5 out of a 5 for the picture and a 4.5 for the sound. For bonus content, Kevin Lyons provides a new audio commentary, and Barry Forshaw closes out the features with a discussion about the film. And the trailer is also included. So folks, another set of fantastic films in this essential film noir collection volume 3. 
And if you don't already own it, I highly recommend Volumes 1 and 2 as well. Who knows, we might even get a Volume 4 sometime later. We'll see how it goes. Till next time, take care. Don't you think I'd better go up and see if Martha's all right? My testimony sent an innocent man to the gallows. Don't do this to me. Better hold on to something. You don't seem very steady on your feet. You are a cop, Silbray, and you're sold out. Baloney. And if it's the last thing I do, I'm going to nail you. Guess I'm not supposed to ask you who you've been following and why. No. Stay away from the windows. They're all outside. We can play this together. Then nobody loses. Ow!